Hey, today we're gonna to take our comfort food game to the next level with some grown-up mac and cheese. We're gonna start off uh, while our cast iron pan is preheating to a medium heat with one large jalapeno diced up. We've got three green onions. You wanna leave about four inches of the green on the end there. And dice that up finely. We've got our skillet preheated at uh, medium heat. We're gonna add in our chopped onion and our jalapeno. Add two cloves of garlic. We don't want this to brown, we just want it to soften. And uh, you know when it's ready because it'll start being ready. So our onion, garlic, and jalapeno is just about ready to go. You see to the right there, we got a large pan full with water, about half full, and salted heavily. We can boil our cappatappi here in a little bit. Next step here is to add two tablespoons of flour. And this is going to help us make our mac sauce that around until it's combined well. Flour and butter have come together now, so we're gonna add one cup of milk slowly and one cup of half and half. Keeping this on a medium heat. We're gonna stir that until that starts to thicken up. And I'll show you when it's ready. Doesn't seem like it will thicken up, but trust me, it will. All right, our water's boiling, so now we're gonna add our cavatappi. There's some shortcuts you can take, different things you can use, but I would not make an exception here. I would not use Elba Macaroni. Cavatappi, a good brand, is gonna be way better than anything else you'll use in here for texture. Just make sure you stir it for the first couple minutes so it doesn't stick. Our sauce is starting to come together, but it's not quite ready yet, so while we're waiting for that to thicken up, let's take a break with some dogs having fun. So our mac sauce is done and uh, we've turned the heat down to low. Best way to tell your mac sauce is done, take your spatula, run it through the middle of the pan and you'll be able to see the bottom of the pan, it kind of stays separated. Now we're going to add two cups of cheese. I prefer a white sharp cheddar cheese. Stir that in, let it melt. Now we want to add about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese or Romano, whatever you like better. And then because everything is better with bacon, we're gonna add some baking bits and I'm uh, doing a shortcut here, I'm cheating. Baking bits ready to go out of the store. If you wanted to do this right, you'd take a half package of thick cut bacon, chop it up and cook it. And then instead of using butter to saute your vegetables in, you'd use two tablespoons of the bacon grease because of course, there's no such thing as too much bacon. For our last step, we're stirring in the cavatappi to get this all combined. At this point, it's ready to eat. If you like it baked, you can put it in the oven right like this at 350 for about 20 minutes. Or if you want to add a little uh, crunch to it, take some panko and brown it with some butter in a pan or in, a, in the oven, serve it on top. There's your grown up mac and cheese. Hey, don't forget to make it a great day.